हेलो वी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो दिस इज पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑफ द टॉपिक फॉरेंसिक एंटोमोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द करेंट परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ फॉरेंसिक एंटोमोलॉजी इन विच दीज टॉपिक्स विल बी डिस्कस दैट इज हाउ फॉरेंसिक एंटोमोलॉजी कैन हेल्प अस डिटरमाइन टाइम ऑफ डेथ टाइम सिंस डेथ प्लेस ऑफ डेथ एंड determine it can help us determine the neglect of patient or children and it can help us tell the manner of death also if you want this ppt then you can go check out my website i have uploaded this ppt over there the link for the website is given in the description box so now let's get started first we are going to discuss the time of death which is going to depend upon the larval development so the first approach in estimation of time since death is the estimation of maggots developing in the body so we need to see what stage is the insect is in its life cycle as you can see over here the insect is going through a particular life cycle like for example the first adult fly is going to lay its egg then it goes into larval stages then pupa is formed and then the final insect is formed so we need to estimate this development cycle of the insect in order to determine the time of death for this purpose we need to have the knowledge of life histories of flies that is belonging to the families califoridae that is the blow flies most common ones sarcophagidae that is the flesh flies and muscidae that is the house flies they have important application in forensic medicine flies are the most important ones out of which blow flies is the is the most common um so for that we are going to study the blow fly metamorphosis blow fly they are the golden standard for forensic indicators these are most useful in estimating the time of death these are ones that comes first immediately after the body is dead they have an incredible sense of smell because of which they are the first ones to arrive they have a complete life cycle which consists of egg larva pupa and adult stage known as complete metamorphosis the entire life cycle like at what stage which stage is going to stay for how many days what will be the length of the larva in particular stages this all has been discussed in the part 1 video of forensic entomology you can go check that video out if you want Want to study the life cycle the link for the part 1 video is given in the description box you can check that video out then comes the time since death this can be estimated by the faunal succession faunal succession is a term used to describe the transition of colonizing species from one insect species to another through the different stages of decay so once the body is dead it's not like only flies are coming there are going to be different types of insects that are coming and they come after certain time periods right so faunal succession is going to help us determine the time since death so the flies arrive within the few minutes or hours of death as the body begins to give off the odor does of decomposition flies have exceptionally good sense of smell so they are the first ones to arrive then comes carrion beetles they arrive within few days and they dig underneath the body and begin feeding then comes the carpet beetles they arrive once the corpse is dried out sufficiently and they begin to consume the skin and hair so this is basically the faunal succession first the flies come within minutes then carrion beetles come after few days then comes the carpet beetles succession is less precise since the post mortem interval relying to some extent on the forensic entomologist's prior knowledge of species over a wide range of families and is also reliant on the knowledge of local fauna to assess the significance of the presence or absence of a particular species faunal succession is not that good as compared to larval development estimation because for faunal succession the forensic entomologist must have prior knowledge of the species and also the they need to uh, have a knowledge about the local fauna of that particular area so it is not that precise because the fauna is going to vary from place to place the faunal succession next the faunal succession can vary significantly between individual cadavers also and the arrival times also 
of the species they are also influenced by local factors and the factors that affect this colonization includes weather temperature burial exposure location etc now here we have a small table that is describing the developmental stages and the time that is taken for decomposition and the types of insect that are coming next forensic entomology can help us determine the place of death also since some of the species appear in a particular geographical area or a particular locality from the examination of the insects a particular geographical and the ecological place can also be known so there might be some insects that are you know present only at a particular area so if that kind of insect is present on is found to be present on the dead body then we can determine we can say that yes okay the body must have been present in that particular area because this kind of insect is present there only right then the manner of death can also be estimated actual event that led to the death is specially important very important in advanced putrefied bodies if putrefied body has wounds in infested with insects it could be homicide or trauma obviously if wounds are present then there is a possibility that it's a case of either homicide or trauma in case of dead due to suspected poisoning by using arthropods in a corpse or at a crime scene investigators can determine whether toxins were present in a body at the time of death next the neglect of patient or children can also be detected cases where wounds and bed sores are present due to physical abuse or neglect become infested with insects forensic entomology may be useful so this was all about this video i hope you understood the current perspectives of forensic entomology if you found the video to be useful then please like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching